wholesale real estate. Giving you a pre, uh, I'm giving you a quick breakdown. All right. So all wholesale real estate, all wholesale real estate is, is when you find a piece of property, find out who owns it, locate the owner, find out if they want to sell the property or not. If so, you want, uh, first off, you want something called a motivated seller, right? A motivated seller is someone that that's not going to be asking retail for the house, right? A motivated seller is somebody that's ready to, ready to sell. They ain't really tripping. They ain't doing nothing with the house. They might have other properties. The house may have been passed down to them due to, due to a death. It could be a number of reasons, right? They might need the money for something else. You want a motivated seller. That's first off. If not, you're just going to be wasting your time dealing with people that's asking retail because they're asking retail, close to retail. There's no purpose of you getting it under contract because you're not going to be able to resign the contract to an investor or buyer anyway, right? So wholesale real estate contract. Once you do find a property, locate the owner, you know, talk to them, see what they're talking about, see what they want to do. Just this is an example. I got a piece of property on the contract for $25,000, right? That's how much I have it locked in at. $25,000. It's saying that I'm going to buy it and or assign it to someone else, which means I have equitable interest in it once we do the paperwork and I could reassign that contract to a buyer. Um, investor right cash cash buyer so what i would do i would market the property if i got it on a contract for 25 depending on the arv the area you know the work that's needed i might market it for 35k maybe um 40k maybe just depends like i say how much meat you got on the bones which means how much equity in it how much the investor can make you know if they was to buy it and uh, rehab it you know or buy it to rent it out whatever the case may be Right, you want to make sure everybody's happy, everybody making money on it. You know, you don't want to just make money off it on it, and then your investor can't make money to defeat the purpose. Plus, the investor's not going to buy it unless it's a good deal. Most people use the 70% rule, and I'm gonna give y'all a breakdown on that on a different video, right? So get it under contract for 25000 dollars you know, from the seller, network it, market it, market it to buyer, to investor. And then what you do is you reassign that contract for thirty-five thousand, right? So if I got it on the market for twenty-five, I got a, I got an investor. You know what? I can't give you thirty-five for it, but I can give you, say, I give you thirty-three for it. All right? I give thirty-three k for it. Me, I'm gonna roll with it, right? I'm gonna roll with it. So. Simple math, 33 K, 25 K. All right, I wanted to make 10 grand off it, but you know what? Let's sell this property. Let's really sign this contract. That's 8K. All right, I found the property, located the owner, negotiated the price, locked it in at $25,000, right? That's the contract. I got it locked in with the seller. That's how much I'm telling the seller I would give them, right? And or sign contract, which means or bring somebody else in that will buy it. And this is how much the seller would get, right? I'm going to reassign it at 33K, right? To my buyer, investor. That's 8K I made, right? I didn't buy this property physically out of my pocket. I didn't pay for it out of my pocket. No, no. I just put it on the contract. Find a property, put it on the contract. Reassign the contract. It's pretty simple. So I'm going to keep showing y'all different um, tips um, and different ways to go about doing this. But anybody can do it. You don't have to have uh, a realtor license to do this. You don't have to be a realtor to do this. Um, you can work with realtors as well. Some, um, some realtors are willing to work with wholesalers. Some are not, you know, so you can find out who's uh, investor friendly, who's wholesale friendly and um, learn the game. Learn as much as you can. Don't just don't just try to contract, contract, real sign, real sign. Learn what you can. So um, your time won't just be wasted. Right. And, you, and you're actually making some money and also solving the problem because it's really all about solving the problem. Your goal is to help the seller. That's the goal to help 
the self. This is your goal. And in the process of that, take care of your investor, right? Because they're going to spend with you. And then at the end, you make you some money in the process of doing it all. All right? Trail the business, man. Best of properties and investments. Thank you.